this account even before submitting the paper application. So you need to just visit the canada.ca website, click on English. You will see multiple options here. You need to create, click on immigration and citizenship. Once you are on this page, you will see multiple options. You you'll have sign in or create an account to apply online on the right uh, side of the screen um, you need to go ahead and click on that link if you already have any um, sign in partner credentials with national bank or scotia bank you can use those for short if you don't then you have to go ahead and say Continue to GC key. Remember, you need not have to uh, first submit the app paper application to be able to create this. You can also create this and uh, apply online. Uh, for me, uh, I have submitted my spousal uh, immigration application and it was a paper application. I created this account before I could actually post my application to the immigration office in Canada. Once they have received and sent a confirmation to me, I was able to go ahead and link it. But before linking, I had this account in place. So you need to have a username and password um, to be able to log in here. But if you don't have this information, if you don't have an account already, this is how you sign up. Simple secure access. As usual, you will see terms and conditions. Click I accept. It will ask you to create a username, for example, so if you are able to find a unique username, it will accept. I would suggest, strongly suggest to stick with your email, email ID without at the rate whatever gmail.com that's how i had my username set up here you need to create a strong password again um, you can save this i would suggest to have at least one capitalized letter and a, um, special character and also some numbers in your password to make it strong So I have one capital letter and a special character with some numbers. That's how create. That's how I create my passwords. Then you click on continue. Chrome will ask if you want to save the password. Once that is done, you need to go ahead and select some recovery questions this is again similar to what you have on Facebook or when you are creating your email account you'll have multiple security questions you select questions and then you answer um, select questions that you can actually um, remember the answers to don't select something new and then you'll be able will not be able to retrieve your account just in case if you are logged out what was your pen name you have to mention something so once you fill in the information 
again do not put in what I am putting in here because I'm just giving you an example uh, it's very important that you remember this information I would strongly suggest that you uh, only select questions that you can remember the answers to so I will put my wedding date it will be 2018 July 25th so again the month comes with a zero wedding is the hint and then you will go ahead and click continue successfully created your GCK you, your username is Falcon View please continue to read GCK service and return to government uh, of Canada so once you click here it will take you to the login page and where you'll be able to sign in using the account with credentials that you have just created I hope this is a very simple and easy to understand tutorial uh, for you guys out there I remember I had some challenges while creating this account um, I really appreciate the Canadian team working on their website because we had some errors in the past on this website and I see the website is working quite fine nowadays so uh, which is a good thing so once you uh, see my accept uh, it will take you to this page So, Falcon, last name, blue, email address, Falcon, blue, So remember when you are entering your information in here, it's quite advisable that you do enter the given name and the last name and the email address as it's mentioned on your um, visa application, immigration application. Um, if you haven't already submitted your application, then you can always remember that you need to put the information key in the information in the right way for a smooth transition um, for you to be able to link your account or application to this three security questions and went ahead and answered those that's it this is my account once you are logged in you will be able to see it reads your given name and your last name in hand and we view the applications you have submitted if you have submitted any applications with that name and you know and you have linked it here you will see all your linked application in here then um, you will have s account messages in this section um, I hope this is a helpful tutorial for you guys to be able to create a GC key um, for Canadian immigration thanks for watching the video please like and subscribe if you like the video and want to know more about Canadian application and procedure.